we were just talking about you actually and how I should congratulate you for being on Google Plus. Oh yes, my first. This is your first Google Plus. I do hangout, have an account. You but do. I'm, I know. I, yes. I, I just saw that. I like. Yeah, because it. Jerry it's made you kind of sign up. It's kind of like a cartoon. Oh, it's Lois Lane. Is that Lois Lane? Yes. Yes. Oh, I thought that was you. No, I wish. Oh, it looks like you. It reminds me of you. <laughs> That's good. So yeah. Oh. Goodness gracious. Okay, Tony, will you come and I'll, just sit I'll in for just, a second? I'll just take over. I'll Never be back. Fear. I'll be back. So Tony's here. Never um, fear. Tony's here. Oh, my gosh. Can I <laughs> Hi, Dana. Hello. How are you? Hi, Dana. You Yay. know, Dana, yes. we know something about you. <gasps> we know a lot about you, actually. Okay. But Ooh. the one thing that we really know about you. Yeah. Can't see you, Tony. Okay. <laughs> And this business is called a tease. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, tell us about Body of Proof. We have some really big fans here, by the way. So. Okay. Yay! How, how is that going? Now, do in? I look into the camera? You can look at me. You can okay. look at the all camera. Right. You can okay. look at all of these. Oh, well, let me. Oh, I didn't introduce you. Introductions. Let me introduce you to everybody, so. You know about Google Plus. Right? Yeah, and kind you know of. That, that people all over the world are watching you right now on our YouTube channel. All over the world. <laughs> yes. And then we hang out with as many as nine people here in our hangout. Okay. These are people who are vetted, so nobody's going to ask you to do anything like right. take your clothes off. There's Clarissa. Is, hey. Clarissa. Is, is Hi, New, Clarissa. Is in New York. Hi, hello. Is that right? You? Clarissa, yes. are you in New York? Yes. Yes, and we can't hear you, Clarissa. Why are you laughing, Diano? Diano's in Reno. He's laughing. Oh, I love He's in the volume. He's in Reno. And then we have Kempton. Can you tell what he is? Hello. Hello, Dana. At Canada. <laughs> He's in Calgary. Calgary. <laughs> Cowboy country. And then yeah. we have Kim Beasley. She's in Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, hey. We have Hello. Brazil. Oh. I know her. <laughs> Why? Wow, hey. Hi. Hi. She loves, she's one of your biggest fans. I know she is. I know her from Twitter. And then we have Trev, and he's in the UK. Hi, hi, Trev. Hi. Uh, so, now, do I get to hear them? Or no, no? Yeah, they're, they're yeah, not just, I'm going to turn the volume, turn the volume up. up. Oh, there we are. Oh, I don't have the Can volume. you hear us now? Yeah, now okay. I can hear Now. All right. All right. Oh, if I turn the knob to the right. Okay. Uh, yes, Tony. Tony from Learning help. Technology. Guy Go, like Tony. Yay, Tony. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know, sometimes I think they're laughing with me, but no, sometimes no. they really are. Oh, <laughs> We're no, always laughing me. with you, Tony. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. Who has a question for Dana? I know you all have questions, so who has who has the first question? Who me, wants to me, ask me, the first question? Go ahead, Kim. Hi, Kim. <laughs> Hi, in your uh, in preparing for your role on um, Body of Proof, what are some of the things that you found were challenges for you, and what what were some of the easy things? Uh, the challenges was the medical terminology because nobody talks like that unless you've been to medical school, <laughs> so that was hard. Um, you know, and just feeling like I knew what I was talking about with the body, but I feel pretty good about it now. After three seasons, uh, when I go to do an autopsy, the medical examiner doesn't even really need to tell me what to do anymore. I, I know how to do it at this point. <laughs> wow. Not on your friends and family when you're just like no, that's sitting the thing. in a normal conversation. Once I've said the word in a script, I'd never remember it. it again. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Uh, okay, did we go? Yes, Kempton, go ahead. Yeah, Dana, I want to wish you an early happy birthday. Oh, uh, thank you. You, you know that uh, you, your birthday is tomorrow. <laughs> so, oh, happy okay. birthday. I want to know. And Priscilla actually was the one that uh, yeah. reminded us about your birthday tomorrow. Priscilla has been a wonderful follower for many, many, many years from Brazil. Is that Six right? Years yes. now. No. So, so my question for you, Dana, is: uh, Oh, you you've worked over your birthday, I guess, all these years. What was one of the biggest, uh, most fun or surprise uh, birthday thing your cast and crew has uh, throw throw for you? Oh, wow, that's a good question. Um, I'm terrible at remembering things like that. Um, and people always do surprise me too. <laughs> I wish I could remember. I'm so sorry. What, I don't know. What would you like to have for your birthday? Yeah. Tomorrow? What do you tomorrow. have for your birthday tomorrow? I would can like you, I, you can share with us. I, I would like uh, Ryan Gosling to show up on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's a good birthday. <laughs> yeah, that happen? Oh wow! You, <laughs> you can that. have the ice cream. What's that? Like that, Priscilla? Oh, she had the ice cream. It's good enough. Have some ice cream. Oh yes, <laughs> big gay ice cream. I need that. <laughs> Did I miss anyone else? So I want to know if yes? you are ready for tomorrow. Am I ready? Yes, because we have a lot of surprises. Surprises? Yeah, oh, I can't wait. 
Oh wow! <laughs> so now, are you in? Are you in with social media and and Twitter and Facebook and all that kind of stuff? I have or? a really great following on Twitter. I don't do anything else but Twitter at this point. But okay. uh, very very loyal loyal fans on Twitter. Wow! Who, who last year they did a great surprise for me a video, and I think there's something planned this year too. Really. <laughs> Oh, that is so neat. I'm I hope so. <laughs> I, you hope so. I'm sure Priscilla is a part of that fan club. Mm -hmm. Does yes. anyone else have a question for Diano? Yes, go ahead. Yeah. I know Jerry had to have been the one to make to make you good on Google Plus because she is very prolific here. I've actually I was in a hangout she did uh when she when she hit a million followers here and yeah. it was a lot of fun. So I was like, when do you think you'll be joining her and coming over to the Google Plus side of things? I have to go over to Jerry's house and she said she would teach me, and we've been procrastinating and haven't done it yet. But I, I, I as she said yesterday on Twitter, she said, finally. <laughs> so, yeah, but I need a few more lessons. This it's, is just getting my feet wet. Yeah, it's really easy here, as you can see. Are you kind of a techie geek a little bit? Once, once yeah. I figure it out, I'm fine. Yeah. 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 And, and what's your – I'm always curious, too, uh, because you have been acting – for a number of years. A long years. time. Not a long, 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 long time. Long ago. time. But you have seen the how it evolved um, as far as social media getting into yeah. it. But as an actor, do you see the importance of being more involved um, in social media and how it would benefit what you're doing currently? Yeah, well, what I like about it is it's this. It's where you can talk directly with people and you don't have intermediary, intermediaries. And you mm -hmm. they really get to know you as opposed to the image of you. Exactly. Yeah. And you have control over the message you put out. Yeah. It's cool. I like that. I like that you guys are really jumping on board. Um, I have Priscilla, a, a, did you have another question? Yes. I want to know how do you feel about how many people asking you advice? <laughs> well, when I got on Twitter, I didn't expect to become the Ann Landers of Twitter, but um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm kind of a shy person, and I, I don't really like talking about myself that much, so I'd much rather talk about you and and I find uh, people endlessly fascinating, and I like helping people. It just makes me happy to help people. Oh, so I didn't realize that people have asked you for, for advice now. What was yeah. like, some of the craziest or what was the most memorable questions that you've had? It's just, I think that there's a running theme in our society that, that people, uh, everybody needs a little more self-love. You mm -hmm. know, people are really hard on themselves, and they don't trust their instincts, and I just encourage people to just be a little more self-loving. That's all. Mm. Okay, question. I like that. Um, did, I just want to. Kim Clarissa, has a question. I have a question one? too. Okay, That's I'll get to you too in just a second. Clarissa, go ahead. You know, I, you know, related to what you just said, Dana. Um, it's a pleasure to to be on here with you. You know, I was I was interested in how um, you select the charities that you're involved with, and and which ones you prefer to work with. Are they close to things that you have personally been related to or do you select things based on what you think is going to be the most advantageous for you to increase awareness or visibility over or is it a combination it, of all those things? It's, it's totally personal um, and where I am at that point in my life it's evolved over time. Uh, right now I'm mostly involved with things that have meaning to me. You know the older I get it's all about what gives me meaning mm -hmm. and so right now it's uh, cancer because uh, my father died of pancreatic cancer oh, it's wow. uh, awesome. the arts because there's so little funding for the arts now so I'm on the board of two theater companies to develop writers and young writers um, it's I've always been a big uh, supporter of abortion rights because that's a problem it's an issue that's never gonna die and I think it's something that we can never take for granted as women. So they tend to be just sort of personal issues of my own. Um, I just want to quickly, before I get to you, Kim, Echo Wong had sent a message that said, Dana, OMG, you're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Echo, Echo is from I China. Agree. Oh, you really well, know your I know, friend. Echo's yeah. from China, and she That's sent me amazing. a beautiful uh, birthday greeting last night. That is fantastic. Wow. Uh, Trav, did you have a question already? Or ask? Yeah. Or what? Okay. No, no, I've got, yeah. Um, how do you feel, or how does, I presume you have like a, a PR agent or company or something like that that helps you with your image. I love your how accent. Does she, <laughs> <laughs> how, do, how does he, she, or they feel about you kind of taking charge of that yourself, you know, on Twitter and people getting to find out who you really are as opposed to this 
Do you know what I mean? I've never been famous, so I don't know how it works, but I would presume <laughs> that your PR company wants you to look a certain way. And um, you know what I'm trying to say? Well, he's I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, look looking, I'm looking at my, <laughs> my, my PR agent right here. Yes. Right, um, okay. Actually, uh, Heidi, who I've been with a long time, uh, since I was 30, at this point knows that I'm going to say whatever I want to say. <laughs> she knows that she can't rein me in. <laughs> so you've only been with her for three years? Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, yes. Um, no, I've pretty much always been who I am. I've never tried to have an image, per se. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, things like Twitter and social media just sort of uh, consolidate that even more. I get in trouble sometimes because I am so honest. It's happened. Or I am susceptible to uh, some people who want to take advantage of that. But for the most part, it's been okay. Hmm. Yeah. Kim, did you have a question? Go ahead. Yes. The simple question. On the show, you parent of a teenager. Uh, do you have kids of your own? Or did you pull from some other place to be a parent on that show? Because um, you have a very... Um, trying teenager as a <laughs> on that show. I, I would say on, on the show I'm the trying one and the teenager is the wise one. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have any kids. I've never had kids. Um, it's funny. I wouldn't say that I am maternal, mm -hmm. but I would say that I'm nurturing. It's a mm -hmm. funny thing. Um, and I absolutely love Mary Mauser, who plays my daughter on the show, which helps. I think that she's a wise old soul herself. So I, some of my favorite scenes are working with Mary, just because I adore her. Mm. Kyle just walked into the, uh, or stepped in. It's his birthday today. Oh. Oh. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Yes. Yes. Happy yes. birthday. I'm sorry. I, I actually slept in on my birthday. That was the problem. So, uh, <laughs> I think you're allowed. <laughs> nice to meet you. Tomorrow is Dana's birthday, so you guys, I think, are the same sign. Yes, um, fellow fish. I'm just curious, just as a woman, have you heard um, Sheryl Sandberg and her new book that's just come out about women? She's the head of the book right now. Yeah. Have you heard that in her, her um, you know, what she writes in the book about women not leaning in enough? How, how do you feel what about that? What was she that? saying they were supposed to lean into? Well, she was referring to the boardroom table and, and the conference room table and how there aren't enough women in leadership positions. And mm -hmm. she's saying that women are partly to blame for that because we're mm -hmm. so hard on ourselves or the way we were raised, but women just don't seem to take those roles yeah. on. What's, you know, your, what's your take on that? And also in the acting world and in the entertainment industry. Yeah, um, there, I think there's a lot of things involved there. Um, I'm not sure that most women would want to, mm -hmm. you know, because there's a price that you have to pay. I don't believe that you can have it all. I no, don't think I don't that's think true. There's just yeah. not enough hours in the day to mm -hmm. have it all. And men and women are different. And the older I get, the more I realize that we're biologically different. So you have the, you have the childhood, the maternal mm -hmm. raising children thing. So let's say you decide not to do that, mm -hmm. and that's the choice you make. Why would you want to behave like a man? You know, I don't see that a lot of those successful men are happy. And I think the goal in life is to be happy. So I see executives that lean into that. And then it's not until they're in their 60s they realize, I didn't have a life. Mm. So I don't know that, why would you want to? Mm. That's an in interesting perspective on that. OK, I get it. Yeah. Um, Kempton, Dana. you have the Kempton question. Yeah, D Dana, I'm very fascinated by the fact that you remember Priscilla, like, <laughs> seems like you guys are big friends. Yeah. An echo in China. <laughs> So you've got thousands of friends. How do you relate to them? I, I'm, I'm very curious. Uh, and that's um, awesome to me. Well, you know, everybody is an individual. And if they keep, you know, tweeting enough, then I get to know them and remember them. And um, it's a little... Um, People think I'm a little naive to consider these people my friends, but I feel like they are my friends. Yeah. Sometimes Aww. you know you, you, yeah. you are more you are more intimate on Twitter than you are in life. <laughs> no, 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 I agree, and I, I feel that way about the friends I've made here on Google Plus. Honestly, it, it's been an incredible experience for me for the last year that I've been I've been doing this, and I I applaud. You're one of the first, I would say, the first celebrity that I've met that has really embraced oh, really? social media in the way that, that I see you doing. Um, I've gotten a, a big kick out of it. You know, and there are some people who are not nice on Twitter and people who pretend to be other people on Twitter. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's a special yeah. place for them. Yes, um, yes I agree. <laughs> yes, I agree. Uh, because i got to say this. I, I've, and I've seen mean. a couple of people pretend to be other people. 
Mm. And you are really taking an advantage of the goodness of human beings. And I mm. resent that. So yeah. stop mm. doing it. Stop mm. it. Stop it. It says a lot, though, because they're always faceless, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. That's, it, that's the I, thing. So yeah, just ignore I mean, they're not, they're not really relevant as far as I'm concerned. That's one of the reasons why I like Google a little bit more, because there's actually mm. a, a contact that we can have, which yes. helps to eliminate. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to BS people when you're looking right, right at them. Right. That's right. Some, some of that can be eliminated. But um, anyway, thank, thank you guys. Oh, Kelly is in the picture. Kelly and and uh, Kyle. Hey, Kelly. Hello, Hi, Kelly. Good morning. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> oh, birthday. So, Got a holiday. Thank you guys, for hanging out with uh, with Dana Delaney. Don't forget to watch Body of Proof, which is on tonight. Tonight, Tuesday, ten o'clock. <laughs> picture, Tuesday, picture, nine picture. Central at nine nine o'clock Central. <laughs> Can you put photo with us before yes, you go? Yes. Here's the camera right here. Awesome. I'm going to take this. Uh,